I will show you how to eliminate jump stitches using Sew What Pro. I already have my design open, but I just want you to see what is going on with this design. There are a lot of jump stitches running across the faces and their bodies. I will eliminate some of the stitches, not all of them, because I don't want this to be a long tutorial to bore you. So we'll start, move to the right of the screen, and here you have your project pane. It gives a brief description of your project and the thread pane. I'll click on the first thread color in the thread pane, and this is what shows up. I'll zoom in so you can see what I will do. You go to the top of the toolbar, click Open Cutting Toolbar, Tool, cutting toolbar opens and you'll click split at stitch. This will allow you to highlight the, uh, the jump stitch that you need to eliminate. I'll zoom in just a bit more. What I want to do first is just eliminate this jump stitch that runs from here all the way over here. So what I need to do is find the last stitch before the jump and I know it's stitch 1116. If you're not sure you can always uh, run your simulator first to find out. So, stitch 116, what I will do is use my arrow key on my keyboard to find the next stitch. So I will click up and it's showing stitch 1118 as the next stitch. So indeed, go back, stitch 1116 was the stitch before the, before the jump. So I will go up to the screen, select split, and that jump has been eliminated. If you go to your thread pane, you can see that it has been split. The jump stitch has been removed. Uh, the next thread color, this bear, there's a jump stitch running from his mouth, I believe it's his mouth, to his forehead, top of his forehead. I'll just leave it. Some jump stitches are I can tolerate. I don't want my machine to always, you know, stop and cut, stop and cut. So some of them I will leave. This bear is fine. No jump stitches. Far right bear, he has a jump stitch from his shoulder to his foot, but that's paw. Uh, that's fine too. He's fine. No jump stitches. And this is where most of the jump stitches occur. Between the eyes, the eye and the nose, and the eye and the nose again. But I just want to eliminate the long jump stitches. So what I will do, I will zoom in. And sometimes, you know, it's difficult to determine where the jump stitches start. I believe it's here. But what you can do, if you're not sure, you go up to view, select view, jumps, you have three options, always hide jump stitches, show dashed, or show thick. Uh, I'm going to select show thick. Okay. And it shows me where that long jump stitch is, where it starts. It begins here. You can check all of them out. Okay. So what I'm going to do, go back to view, jumps, go back to show dashed. Okay. So I know that long jump stitch begins here. So what I'm going to do, go to my arrow key on my keyboard, make sure that's the last stitch before the next jump. Click up, and indeed it is. There's stitch 5236, go back. That's the last stitch before the jump, go up to split. And that stitch has been eliminated. Next. The long jump stitch it begins over here somewhere, so stitch 537, use the arrow key on my keyboard to find the next stitch. Okay, it's stitch 5309, go back. So this indeed was the very last stitch before the next jump. Go to the button split, click, and that stitch has been eliminated. Next pair, uh, I believe the it starts here. The jump stitch starts here. If you're not sure, go to view. Here, we'll do it. Uh, select jump. Let's do show thick. 
and that's it. I believe that's it. Sometimes it's hard to tell, but I believe that is it. So go back to view, jumps, show dashed. Okay. So we're going to start at stitch 5383. Use arrow key on your keyboard to move to the next stitch. And that was indeed the uh, stitch before the next jump. There it is over here. Let's go back. Use your arrow key to go back. Stitch 5383. Split. And that stitch has been eliminated. The jump stitch. The last one, I believe it starts over here. Stitch 5461. Use your arrow key to find that last stitch. That was it because it jumped over here to stitch 5463. Let's go back. Go up to split. And that stitch has been eliminated. If you go to the thread pane, it's, it shows all those stitches have been split and the jump stitches have been eliminated. Let's do the hearts. Zoom out. So you can see all the hearts. Okay, there are five hearts. And I know because I went, sent it through the simulator. Uh, it starts here, it goes you know, counterclockwise, stitches out counterclockwise. I want to eliminate this long stitch. So what I will do, as before, find the last stitch before the jump. I'm at stitch 5,734. 5, Use my arrow key on my keyboard to move up. 5,735, 5, 36, and that was the last jump. I just want to make sure it moved over to this heart because this is this, the jump stitch I want to eliminate it. Eliminate. So I go back, uh, touch the down arrow key because that is the last stitch. Go up, select split, and that stitch has been eliminated. If we go to the thread pane window, it shows all the splits. Here's the last split, the hearts. So what I'm going to do is click close, get out of the uh, cutting tool bar, close and close again. And it shows, you still see all of your uh, original stitches. All you have to do is go to the pane, the thread pane window, click on the first thread color. And this is how it's going to stitch out. I eliminated that stitch that went from here to here. It's gone. Here's the split right here. I go to the next uh, splits or jump stitches that were eliminated. Here's the first one, second, third, fourth, and last. And the red stitches. These three will be stitched together and these two will be stitched together because I eliminate that, eliminated that uh, long jump stitch. And that is how you eliminate jump stitches using Sew What Pro. I hoped the video helped you and thank you for watching.